you have already come across properties panel here you can see the publish option and properties of the stage now let's focus on this particular section called properties if I have an object drawn on the stage for example and then I'm going to select this object through selection tool this will be displayed in my properties panel as drawing object here you can see width height XY position of that particular object it also has fill and stroke where you can change the settings or size of the stroke let's delete this object by selecting it and hit delete button on your keyboard we can also select specific frame in the timeline and see the information about it in properties panel any of the tools we select its information will be displayed in properties panel let's select the text tool here you can see the character property and paragraph property and if you select the selection tool then that doesn't actually have any property let me choose the brush tool then once again you will be able to see its properties like fill stroke brush shape and smoothing you can go back to your document property using the selection tool HTML5 canvas library consists of complex assets such as imported bitmap files, audio and complex symbols. You can see the library panel on right hand side grouped with the properties panel. Click on it and you can see it has been expanded. We can see it is an empty library. Later on in a project we are going to get back to library in order to clean it up and organize it. Let me tell you about the library. First thing any shapes that you draw on the stage will not be present in the library. For example let me select the pentagon and draw it on the stage. This doesn't appear in the library. It is only on the stage. However, if I had to import images, audio files into my project or even create complex symbols like movie clip or graphic symbols, then these would all exist in my project library. Libraries are an important aspect to any animate project, but they should be organized well and be used effectively. Hey guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos and please do subscribe Native Brains.